Good morning, my name is Dr. Hillel Mazansky. My website is www.giainc.com. I am humbled by the fact, and I do not want to say this because I'm not given to engrandizement, but I am the only physician in the United States who has restricted his speciality to medical hypnosis guided imagery, nutrition, and exercise. Today's health tip, we are going to discuss the prevention of breast and prostate cancer, the two most common cancers in the United States. With regard to breast cancer, my young followers who will get pregnant, the first thing you do is nurse your child or breastfeed your child. In doing so, Research has showed that the longer you nurse your baby, the less chance you have of developing breast cancer, the less chance the child is of developing childhood obesity, which is my passion. There are three things that we request you do to prevent prostate and breast cancer. One, take 5,000 units of vitamin D3 once a day after food. After two months, I suggest you have a vitamin D level done by your physician and find out exactly what the level is. Do not accept, oh, it's normal. Because for cancer protection, the level should be over 45. The normal is 30 to 90. And oftentimes the physicians say if they have a level of 31, it's normal. It should be 45. Oftentimes, 5,000 units is not enough and one has to increase. If you are suffering breast and prostate cancer, then you should take 10,000 units of D3 every day and then the same, have your level retested. Green tea has been shown to be protective against breast cancer. The Japanese drink a lot of green tea and they never develop breast or prostate cancer. Four to five cups a day, caffeinated or decaffeinated makes no difference. Two heaping tablespoons of ground organic flax seeds. You can put it on your salad or on your food, however. Those three things are cancer protective. If you develop severe metastatic prostate or breast cancer, I suggest you drink 10 cups of coffee a day, decaffeinated of course, and make sure that the coffee, the decaffeinated process of the coffee is water washed and not chemical washed because you don't need further chemicals in your body. Females who have breast cancer and recovered, if they become obese, they have a far greater chance of developing uh, metastases or spread of the cancer. Breast cancer, do not drink more than two glasses of red wine every day. I mean uh, every day, every week, because we found that uh, the more red wine you drink or any alcohol beverage, the greater chance you have of developing uh, breast cancer. Men, do not eat saturated fat because saturated fat is a major cause of developing prostate cancer. Stress is related to cancer. Every cancer patient that we see has got stress, whether it's superficial or in the subconscious, when we find, when we do the medical hypnosis, we find that there's something in their subconscious mind causing guilt or stress. Every cancer patient has got stress. Cancer emanates from the mind. If the mind causes it, the mind helps cure it using medical hypnosis, guided imagery. Nutrition is important and I suggest that you drink, you eat um, fruits and vegetables that are high in polyphenols, the darker the color, the better it is. But beware, research out of Harvard has shown 
that cancer cells thrive on sugar. You should not have sugar at all in any shape or form. No sugar substitutes, no honey, nothing. Also, the fruits that are high in sugar or got a high glycemic index, that is the index that stimulates a blood sugar to rise. So if a food has got a glycemic index of 100, that's very bad because it causes the blood sugar to raise quickly. If a glycemic index is 30, then uh, it's good. If you want to know more about the glycemic index on my website, www.giainc, you do have a full chart of the glycemic index indices of all foods. To prevent, further prevent both types of cancer, exercise is extremely important. The faster your pulse goes, the faster the pulse rate, the better it is. If you don't exercise, I suggest you start off slowly by walking and increase as time goes on. If you do have the cancer, it is of great importance that you go to a medical hypnotherapist to try and find out what the stress is. And sometimes it's subconscious stress. And in females, once we do deep medical hypnosis, cause invariably has been sexual abuse when they had children. Now you can say to me, well, that's genetic, which is true. I, my sisters have the gene and I have the gene and my brother has the gene and I have the gene. Why does the one sibling get the cancer and the other not? The reason is simple. The one sibling, although it has the gene, the gene has to be activated or turned on. And what turns on the gene is uh, the stress. We say one of our mantras, if the mind causes it, which it does, the mind helps treat it using medical hypnosis, guided imagery, nutrition and exercise. It is gr of great importance to be self-empowered to treat yourself. Because you go to physicians when you have cancer and this one and that one and all of them are doing something to you. How about if you did something for yourself, empowered yourself to treat yourself using medical hypnosis and you listen to our voice twice a day, nutrition and exercise, the other mantras, how to live a longer, happier, healthier life. Now, I know it's difficult for many of you. You might want to consult with us, but you live out of town. We now have the technology to do telephonic medical hypnosis sessions, which works extremely well. For further information about that, you are welcome to visit my website, and you will see what is required. Here we have concrete evidence, friends, to prevent cancer. And if you do have cancer, all those other methods that we discussed, do them. I don't know whether your physician told you or not, it matters not. But this is how you empower yourself to help treat yourself. My name is Dr. Hilal Mazansky and I thank you very much.